Hi, it's Mac Gizmo Guy, and recently I just got a new MacBook Air with both Super Speed USB 3 and Thunderbolt ports on it. And to come up with a really good backup solution, I ended up buying one of Buffalo Technologies Mini Station Thunderbolt USB 3 combo hard drives. Currently, this is the cheapest Thunderbolt drive available on the market. I just bought the 500 gigabyte version for less than $200. Well, the master plan for this thing is to disassemble the mini station drive and put a solid state drive into it instead to really tap the true potential of it. Turns out this drive comes with a 5400 RPM Samsung hard drive, laptop size hard drive, which is not fast. I can't believe they didn't put at least a 7200 RPM drive in it. But the biggest reason I bought it was for both the Thunderbolt and the USB 3 super speed ports. And the intention is, is to take the SanDisk Extreme solid state drive, which is one of the peak performing solid state drives of 2012, and put that in there instead. Well, as far as disassembling, this was quite a challenge. They use tape to hold this thing together. There aren't latches for the top cover, but I had to pry and pry, use four credit cards to get the tape that was holding the drive mechanism in place together in order to get this thing apart. Um, as you can see um, from the plastic part of the case, it had latches all the way around. And fortunately, the plastic on here is fairly soft and flexible. So I was able to pry and bend these, get them to stay back, and I was able to get the drive caddy that's in there um, out reasonably easily. Um, in a lot of drive cases, when you try to open them up, those latches are very brittle and they just break off um, and that. But fortunately, this was reasonably flexible enough that I was able to get the drive mechanism and circuit board tray out without having too much trouble in getting it apart. And what I ended up was this, the circuit board with both the USB 3 and Thunderbolt ports on it and this Samsung 5400 RPM mechanical SATA drive. So all I have to do then is just slide the drive off the SATA connector, take my SanDisk Extreme drive and just carefully slide and snap that on. There are two screws here to hold the drive in place and the drive caddy itself is covered with a metallic shield that basically just slid off the drive assembly and it had four screws. So altogether, there's only six screws involved in disassembling a Buffalo mini station um, and reasonably easy to take apart and put back together. So I'll be reattaching these two screws, putting it in the black plastic drive caddy again. There's four screws to hold down the sides of the drive and then I'll be reassembling the unit back into a single one piece thing. I wish I didn't have to do this, but it turns out with this Buffalo mini station currently, the price dropped on it, it's about $179. It was uh, basically $100, less than a dollar a gigabyte for a 120 gig SanDisk Extreme drive. So basically for well under $300, I'm gonna be able to have a super speed and Thunderbolt backup drive solution that will really take advantage of these ultra fast ports on my new Mac. All right, so that's it for today from Mac Gizmo Guy. We'll talk to you again soon.